Hey guys, what's up? Alana here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking makeup and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reviewing the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder in the color Medium Deep. Now I know I'm a little bit late on this bandwagon, but I was really interested in getting this powder and after hearing so many mixed reviews and kind of seeing people use it a way that I wouldn't really use it, I decided to try it for myself. Plus some of you guys requested that I try this out and let you guys know my thoughts on it. So here are my thoughts. Now I do have the original Laura Mercier, ugh. I do have the original Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the normal shade. I do like this powder a lot. It does control the oil. The only problem that I have is when I set it around my mouth and down here in these areas, I get, you know, kind of a whitish whitish cast because of my deeper skin tone. So I was really interested to see what this powder could do for me. This is what they look like side by side. Okay, so this is what the powder looks like on the inside. There is a little sifter inside. I have been using this powder just because I wanted to be able to give you guys a good review and let you know what I think about it over time. But I am going to do a demo and show you guys what it looks like against my skin. So this is what the powder looks like. I like the color. It looks like um, hot chocolate. Compared to the normal Laura Mercier, this is what the two look like. Now when I swatch it on my arm, the darker one comes out like this, very true to color, and the lighter one comes out like this. So you guys see like it's translucent, it will, you know, eventually after baking, see how it leaves like a slight cast, you know? It is good for setting your under eye, I believe, like setting your highlight. I definitely, definitely would continue to set my highlight with this. But I want to try this to set the rest of my face. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so starting off with the regular Laura Mercier in the color Translucent. I'm just going to dump some of it in the top here and I'm going to smooth out my under eye. I'm just going to take my beauty blender, dip it inside, tap off the excess, and I'm going to press that into my skin. On my eyelid. So these are the areas that I'm highlighting. So I'm definitely going to use this powder here because I want more of a highlighted and brightened look. And down the bridge of my nose so I should have told you guys obviously before I started the video I went ahead and based my face I did do my eyebrows as well as my foundation and my concealer and my cream contour in preparation just to kind of save time if you guys are interested in seeing my foundation routine I will have a link to that video above okay so now that I'm done setting my highlight I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with the translucent powder in the color um, medium deep Just the thought, the fact that they named it medium deep makes me feel like they're going to go even darker at some point and make like, just like deep, you know? Because like, why is it medium deep? Why isn't it just like deep? I went ahead and used the deep powder from Laura Mercier to set the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my makeup. I'm gonna do my blush, my highlight, and my contour, lips, eyes, and all that stuff, and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on this powder. Okay guys, so I'm back with my final review. I have been wearing the powder for a few hours. I did go out to dinner um, at about six, I wanna say like 5.30 I did my makeup. It is 11.30 right now. And I have to say, you guys, I love this powder. It definitely, definitely, definitely is a staple. 
in my makeup bag now. I have been looking for a setting powder, just a regular setting powder for my face for a long time now because with foundation or anything cream that you put on your face, you always want to use a setting powder to set it. And anything that I have used in the past, whether it be MAC, you know, it's always left a white cast or like the Sasha Buttercup, which I love, 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 but it does leave like a yellowy tint. So especially down here on the bottom half of my face, I really don't like any other tint but, you know, skin. So, um, and I, I do wear foundation, so it definitely does help to set it with a powder that is darkly translucent, if that's the word. On a scale from, I guess, 1 to 10, I would definitely have to give this powder a 10, guys. You totally need it. I would honestly recommend using both of these in conjunction. This to set your entire face and this to set your highlight if you want to keep those highlighted areas bright. This is not going to do that for you. The darker powder is not going to keep those highlighted areas bright because that's not what it's supposed to do because it is supposed to be a translucent powder but this is a face setting powder it is not a highlighting powder it is not a brightening powder so if you're looking for that this may not be for you if you're looking for something if you're a darker skinned woman a woman of color and you're looking for something that can set your makeup without the flashback or without the you know a uh, white cast or yellow tint in your skin this is definitely definitely your deal girl I just want to give you guys a little bit more information about this product it does retail for $38 and I picked up mine from Nordstrom.com Nordstrom.com always has free shipping that's why I love to shop with them now as far as the specifics on this product this is supposed to be a sheer silky powder that sets your makeup it is for anyone with normal to oily skin types. Again, I'm super oily. You guys know some of my videos. You even let me know like what different products that I could possibly use because I'm usually like an oil slick in a couple of hours. So this does a great job controlling my oil and that's why I will forever be a Laura Mercier customer as long as they keep the formula the same because this stuff works. This bestseller feels luxuriously dense in the jar and silky light and refined on your skin. It applies evenly and blends effortlessly leaving behind a modern matte finish with a touch of sheer coverage. So um, again I have on my Kat Von D um, Locket foundation so I already have a full coverage foundation on. So if you're looking for something with a lot of coverage this is not a foundation powder. This is only a setting powder to go on top of your foundation. The finish is definitely very matte. I feel like it takes away a lot of the texture of my skin because I do have like textured skin. Um, like I said it controls the shine. Usually my chin is pretty shiny. I did put highlighter on my face um, but this is nothing compared to how I'm normally looking okay so it does a really good job at controlling the shine I have to say very velvety finish very smooth to put on does not transfer I have been on my phone um, you know during the evening and I don't have any residue or anything like that on my phone which is so good for me because when I don't set my face that foundation because I'm so oily it just transfers to every single thing clothes hands electronics everything so this works for me hopefully it will work for you like I said I do recommend both powders but girl if you are not trying to spend $80 on powders right now you don't even need to there are plenty of other good setting powders on the market these are just my favorites right now so yeah I think that's all I have for you guys today if you have any questions or any other products that you guys would like for me to review please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys want to know what like my favorite setting powders of all are if you guys want to see like a comparison and contrast between all the different setting powders that I have totally let me know give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you like more videos like this and think that they are helpful let me know so I can continue to do these and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave guys I have so many awesome videos coming up you don't want to miss it and do not forget to turn on your post notifications so I'm done with and I'm done with this video thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I love you guys bye